Good evening, and welcome again to Pumping Up with Hans and Franz, the informative training program for achieving financial success. Once again, I am Hans. And I am Franz, and we just want to pump you up. Hey, how you doing? Hans Schaff here, the real Hans, coming to you from inside my truck here in Huntsville, Alabama. Like the uh, Alabama glasses, can you see? Roll Tide, baby. <laughs> Representing Alabama here with my rolled tide glasses. Anyway, I want to bring you a quick message here today. Um, in talking about your own business, you know, a lot of people they have this goal of, man, if I could just be my own boss, if I could just, you know, start my own business, I'd be set, I'd be in control, I could set my own hours. And then there's those people who have their own business and realize if I could, you know, they're thinking the opposite. Man, if I could just get away from my business, I'd be set, I'd be free, right? So, it, you know, it's all in the uh, eye of the beholder, right? But um, this is a very important distinction that I want to make sure that, it, you know, is clear. Because not every business gives you freedom. There are several, in fact, the more traditional business route, the small business is actually more of a trap because see, with a job, you can just give your two-week notice or whatever and you can go ahead and just leave your job, right? You lose your income, but there's no further responsibility. In fact, you may even be entitled to a pension or severance pay. You know, um, you may even get continue to get your, your benefits or a pension, lots of things like that. But see, with a business, if it's a typical small business, you may have customers or clients or contractual obligations where you can't just up and leave. You you know, once you committed to fulfill that contract, once you, you committed to start your business, you may have equipment, you may have all sorts of things that you just simply can't walk away from. So in essence, your business owns you. Um, you know, it's basically a job you own as opposed to, um, you know, maybe working for somebody else. So yeah, you might be able to call the shots, you might be able to control more of your hours, but at the end of the day, your customers calling or screaming, you got to be putting out fires. And uh, it's not uh, as great as it may seem. So be careful what you ask for. <laughs> That's uh, there's a good one for you there. So now, if you're if you are thinking though about a business, you are on the right track because let me just kind of make this distinction. You know, Kiyosaki talks about it in some of his books. You know, the, the cash flow quadrant in particular, talking about how there's a left side and a right side. There's basically four ways you can earn income. Okay, the left side. If you're visualizing this, I'm a visual person. So if you're visualizing this on the left side, you've got earned income. On the right side, you've got more passive or residual or portfolio income, right? So on the left side, you're basically working for money. You know, like I said, you got the job at the top left. That's where it's it's total earned income. You know, basically you, you trade your, your time for, for pay. Whereas in the bottom, you trade contracts, you, tur you trade, uh, you can also get paid by the hour there as well, uh, but it's more as a small business realm. Now, what makes a distinction between a small business and a big business, small business being one that, you know, that owns you, you can't get out of, you know, you, you can't sell uh, because there's just, you know, it just, the, the model doesn't work that way. You're basically a slave to your business versus a big business that's basically run by a system. And Kiyosaki kind of makes a distinction that once you've got like 500 people working, um, you know, in the business, then it, then it can be a large business. But I argue that today in the information age, it doesn't require 500 people. If you have the right systems in place, with leverage, you can actually have a system in place where you have few, if any, employees. You may have systems in place working for you where you can still walk away from your business and come back to it in a couple months or a couple years' time and actually have more income and more freedom than you did when you first began it. So uh, those are the distinctions there. So be careful what you're asking for. If you're, if you're thinking you want to be your own boss, you can just be on your own boss, be sure you're selecting the right business model to actually give you that freedom because not all businesses will give you that freedom. Uh, I guarantee it. <laughs> so in fact, even real estate, you know, I'm, I got back involved in real estate uh, years ago and uh, thinking that was the way to go. Um, you know, the wealthy, where do they hold their wealth in real estate for, for the most part, right? So I thought, hey, I'm going to I'm going to make the best of both worlds. I'm going to make a business out of investing in real estate. You know, get the investing model and the business all in one, right? Well, what ended up, ended up turning into was a small business where basically I had to run everything. And, um, you know, I, I had to be the property manager. I had to be the realtor. I had to be the loan officer. You know, I was one of those uh, psychotic, right? It's S quadrant is what it stands for. Self-employed, psychotic, um, you know, got to be smarter than everybody else. That's the trap I fell into. Uh, thinking I was on the right side of the quadrant when really I just fell into the left side, just, you know, leveraging myself with with huge assets worth millions of dollars that really kind of trapped me in, in a situation. So, um, you know, be careful what it is that you ask for. Look for a business model that can actually free you. You know, I encourage you to go ahead and click the link below this video and I will share with you uh, a better business model, one that will allow you to create time freedom, personal freedom, financial freedom, where you literally can get started 
put the time, put the effort, put the energy and the work into the business, get it developing, turn it into an asset that actually produce and throw off income to you more or less residually. Or you can just get it to a point where you're working maybe a couple hours a day or a couple hours a week to maintain or grow it. And we're talking, you know, you could be making tens of thousands of dollars per month, even hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, as some people are able to do with this very exact business model. Um, and I'll give you a hint, you can actually get started with it for as little as $25. So what is there to to lose, right? If you're one of those people who is thinking, man, all I need to do is get into a business and, uh, you know, my I got my dreams, you know, and you got your freedom. Well, think again. Again, the problem with doing what you love, even if it is your own business, you have to keep doing it. You know, you got to really look at what the, what does the market want? What is a smarter business model? Because, you know, and let let your, let a smarter business model allow you to earn a living or basically provide for you and provide all your bills and get all taken care of for you. So you can do what you love because you want to, not because you have to. It, believe me, it turns it completely upside down when you're doing something you used to love, but now you're doing it because you have to to pay the bills. So if you can turn it around and actually, you know, create a business like what I'm going to suggest to you in the link below, just down there, click down there, um, you know, using something like that as a model to pay all your bills and then some and give you additional money to invest into something that you want to be doing, you can actually get paid to do what you're doing, uh, even if it makes money for you or not. It can be a hobby and let this business pay it for you because uh, it's a, like I say, a system-driven business um, that is designed for the information age today where people are making money now using things that work today and uh, creating, in a lot of cases, a lot of good residual income. Now, no guarantee of income. Again, I'm not sure what it is that you'll be able to do. But what I am telling you, I'll guarantee you this, you can get started and get going for $25. Get access to the system. It's kind of like a franchise, and it is powerful. So check it out if you know what I'm talking about. just want to share this message with you, with you, though, today to be careful what you ask for. You know, being your own boss is not always the key. Um, there is more to it than just being your own boss or even working from home. You've got to find the right business model that will actually allow you to achieve your dreams, achieve your goals uh, of freedom, financial freedom, personal freedom, time freedom, all kinds of freedom. So be careful what you ask for. Hans Schaff, the real Hans. Click on the link below, and we'll see you on the inside. Take care. Hans Schaff, over now. out.